With the increasing power of chargers, 65 watts and 100 watts chargers have become very common. But most original chargers of your devices are only equipped with a single USB-C port, which means you cannot charge multiple devices at the same time. You can of course buy a multi-port charger, but the USB-C hub we're going to show you today can save you a lot of money. It's from Silowin and can support up to 100 watts. It comes in three different colors, black, turquoise, and white. The input USB-C cable is attached to the back. It is made of PVC rubber, which feels soft and smooth. The USB-C connector on the other side is gold-plated, which can resist oxidation and be more durable. 100 watts is printed on it. The length of this cable is about 1.5 meters, and the white cable tie can shorten the cable length according to your needs. Turn to the other side. The shell is made of fire retardant PC. It has two USB-C and two USB-A ports. When charging four devices at the same time, the maximum power of USB-A2 reaches 10 watts. USB-A1 plus USB-C2 share 25 watts output, and the USB-C1 can be up to 65 watts. 100 watts in total. That's to say, it's designed for 100 watts single port fast charger. Just to connect it to your charger, and the LED light should light up. Four rubber pads at the bottom make it more stable when placed on your desktop. The size of this USB-C hub is about 90.5 by 44.5 by 21 mm, and the weight is about 125.5 grams. Since there are no input and back modules inside, so it's thinner and smaller than your charger. You may also be curious about if this hub will affect the charging protocol of this charger. The charger that powers the KM003C shows the USB-C1 supports FCP, SCP, AFC, QC3+, SFCP, MTK, PD3.0, PPS, QC5 protocols. It also has 5 fixed PDLs of 5V, 9V, 12V, 15V, 3A, 20V, 5A, and a set of PPS. It means the charging protocol of the USB-C port depends on the charger. The PD protocol of USB-C2 drops to 20 watts, and QC5 becomes QC4 bus. Compared to USB-C1, the voltage has not changed, but the current has been reduced. The USB-A1 supports FCP, SCP, AFC, QC3.0, SFCP protocols. And USB-A2 only supports DCP protocols. The protocol of the USB-A port is much less than USB-C. As for the compatibility, as mentioned, it depends on what kind of charger you're using. The USB-C1 has the best compatibility and the highest power. But if the power of the charger you use is above 100 watts, it will be limited to below 100 watts by this hub. The USB-C2 supports 20 watts PD and various protocols. So most devices can be charged at 9 volts, 2 amp, 18 watts. And the USB-A1 does not support PD, but most devices can be charged through QC protocol. The charging power is around 70 watts. Since the USB-A2 only supports DCP protocol, the voltage is 5 volts with a maximum power of 10 watts. Then let's check the charging performance of each port when charging multiple devices. When charging four devices at the same time, USB-C1 can reach 60 watts and the charging voltage of the other three ports is 5 volts. The maximum total upper power won't exceed 100 watts. The USB-C1 also exceeds 60 watts when charging three devices at the same time, and the USB-C2 reaches 70 watts. The USB-A only reaches 5 to 6 watts. When charging two USB-C devices, USB-C1 maintains the previous charging power, while the power of USB-C2 is increased to 20 watts. Although it looks very much like the charging dock of your USB-C laptop, it is only suitable for chargers and other charging devices. You can use it to charge your laptop. But there is no way to use your laptop to charge other devices via this hub. Next, let's try to charge the 16-inch MacBook Pro M2 with the USB-C1 of this hub. The voltage is around 19 to 20 volts throughout the test. The peak power is 55 watts and lasts for 5 minutes. Then, it'll gradually drop to 36 watts. From 1 hour and 30 minutes, it drops to almost zero without hesitation. The total charging time is about 2 hours and 34 minutes. 
you can check its charging speed more intuitively through this chart. It reaches 50% in 45 minutes and 80% in 1 hour and 28 minutes. It takes 2 hours and 34 minutes to be fully charged. The charging speed is almost the same as a 65W PD charger. When testing the full charging curve, we put this hub into a 25 degrees Celsius thermal tank and got its surface temperature after an hour. Under 220 volts, 50 Hz, the maximum temperature on the front is 52.5 degrees Celsius and 52.7 degrees Celsius on the back. Under 110 volts, 60 Hz, the maximum temperature on the front is 51.3 degrees Celsius and 53.4 degrees Celsius on the back. The corresponding USB-C1 is the hottest spot. Since there is no switching power supply inside, its overall temperature is lower than high power chargers at around 52 degrees Celsius. The IEC 62368 specifies that the maximum temperature of plastic cannot exceed 77 degrees Celsius, so it complies with the standard. Well, that's all tasks for this USB-C hub from Silloway. Unlike most hubs for your USB-C laptop, this hub is especially designed for USB-C chargers about 45 watts or USB-C charging ports in your electric vehicle. It can easily turn your single port charger into a multi-port charger. In the conversion process, the charging performance of the original charger won't reduce and the temperature is controlled very well. Okay, that's all for today's video. Don't forget to drop a like, leave your comments and subscribe to us. I'll catch you guys in the next video. Bye.